right up here, folks. If you want to find me, too bad, I blurred it. We've done a lot of house tours. We've done a empty house tour. We've done a full house tour. Then I've done another empty house tour when things went south. And then I did another house tour. I think when I had like a ping pong table in my living room. I don't know, but I keep getting requested a lot to do another house tour. And this is gonna be the last house tour I do. The house is as finished as it's ever gonna be. I live here in Scottsdale, Arizona, the beautiful Scottsdale, Arizona. It's actually a rainy day out, which is super weird weather. And today I'm gonna give you guys a walk through my three bedroom, 2200 square foot townhouse in Scottsdale, Arizona. Starting with the garage, we've got my roommate's Tesla Model 3 here. We've got a built-in charger over there that my ex used to use. It's the only time she's gonna be mentioned. She had a Tesla and so we made sure we found a place that had them and that it just got really convenient when Keelan behind the camera, the wizard, brought his Tesla in. Then we've got my 2017 Audi RS3. If you guys are not new to the channel, you've seen this vehicle too much. If you are new to the channel, this isn't really gonna be a car video, so I'm just kind of giving you the rundown on the only two cars we have right now. I don't know if I inspired Keelan, but he put in a little boxing bag. You know, he gets jacked a little bit, which I haven't seen him use yet, but he claims he uses it and he swears on it. This is my a hybrid bike? I don't I don't know. It just I think I can ride it like on the ocean or in the sand or something. I don't know. I've been actually going on a lot of bike rides out here. The weather is beautiful. And in the summer, I'm currently getting jacked. You're gonna catch me riding around shirtless in this if, if that's like an event you wanna see me. I might have a six pack. I might not. I don't I don't <laughs> Probably not. I am getting back into scootering. These are not mine. The roomies, well, the roomie and then Noah has one. I've got a bird scooter that bird sent to us a long time ago. I am building a scooter again. Any, any OG followers out there, I'm gonna be scootering again. And then I've got a set of my r eights on this car because we put all season tires on this. We've been taking on road trips. We did Utah. We're doing Portland like next weekend. So those are the tires on it for now. Those are my I'll race you tires even though I don't race anyone. I've got my shoe rack, my, well, my secondary shoe rack because I'm a man with problems. This is the uh, entrance room of the home. You walk in, you check yourself out in the mirror, you kind of give a little beard graze, unless you don't have a beard, don't do that. These are packages that get sent to my ex-girlfriend all the time. So I tried to clear this out the best I could. And of course, those just came. Uh, I've got a little setup for my doggo. He doesn't really use it, but these are his leashes. You know, that one's for pooping, that one's for walking. That plant that you can't. Don't even show them, Keelan. I don't want them to see it. It dies all the time. Right now it actually looks half dead. This is the first bedroom. This is the bedroom where you can kind of enter and exit on your own. The second biggest bedroom besides the master and actually the biggest bathroom, the coolest bathroom. I wish my master got this bathroom. It didn't. This is Key's room. Hey, right here, this is where Key Snacks does his snacking. If you guys don't know Key, the kid likes his snacks, which we are showing them your snack setup, Keelan. You know we are. This is where all the editing is done, not this, which you should connect to this and edit. That'd be pretty cool. This is where Key checks himself out in the morning, obviously. Come in here, come in here, all the way through, Key. This is my, my editor-in-chief. I don't know if that's what we're calling him. This kid is the snack master of the absolute world. Now, the one thing in this house I don't want you guys to look at is the stairs. They're always dirty, they're white. I will clean them, mop them, vacuum them, and 10 seconds later, that little asshole make them dirty again. So if they're filthy, it's his fault, not mine. I can't clean them two times a week. I have things to do. This is the guest bedroom. Yo, chill, I'm trying to film. Why is it being so loud? This is the smallest room in the house, but the room with like the nicest light. Every room's got a pro and con. I'm not gonna, well actually, my, yeah, my room's got a con, which we'll get to. If you didn't notice, Keelan's bathroom gets like nice light. It has a window, my bathroom doesn't have a window. And I like light, because I like vibes. You guys know that. Yeah, this just comes in handy. Guests stay here. People watch my little demon dog. They stay here. If I have an overnight guest, <laughs> I don't have overnight guests. I've actually never showered in here, and there's a tub, and I forget I have a bathtub in this house. I should probably clean my dog in there instead of my shower. I'm kidding, I'll leave the light on. A very empty, very large, Sorry, that was probably really loud. Closet. This is a lot of my dad's art that's up in the house. Most of you guys should know I am a DILF, right? I have a dog. I'm set. I'm, I'm absolutely kidding, but I am a DILF. I need a good spot to fold laundry. The man does laundry. He's dad ready. I installed this because I was always the laundry man here. I know it sounds a little... Hey, quit eating your foot, dude. Why is my dog eating his foot? Somebody tell me. So I used to have a picture here. I'm sure some of you guys could assume what it was. Now it's... It look, I look like a psychopath. It's just a, nothing. This is my closet, which I finally moved all my clothes to. 
This is the only clothes in my possession. Actually, that's not true. I have an entire dresser. We've got my beanies over here. I'm gonna give these away one day. Cause I'm a psychopath. Some of you guys know I wear mixed match shoes. So sometimes that results in me having to buy two different pairs of shoes. And if I buy really expensive shoes, I have to buy two pairs. This is not a flex. I don't ever talk about money I spend, which we will talk about the rent. Cause I do want to be transparent in this video. If I'm gonna do a house tour, I'm gonna do it right. I swear this is the only other thing I'm talking about money just to give people an idea. I spent over $2,000 to buy two pairs of these. And the only reason I condoned buying it is because I knew one day I was gonna give these away. They're uh, Nike Presto twos, I think. I have one in each color, same size, mix match. I'm gonna give them away one day. I just don't know when. I've got my douche bag. That's actually what it's called when I travel. Christmas tree still upstairs. And then I've got more shoes on the back wall. I've got my hats, shoelaces, because that's the best belt in the world. This is my humble abode, adobe, humble adobe, my humble abode, a bow, Jordan bow. I sleep here. I do. Uh, that's about it. Well, there's other things I do here, but I'd have to kill you if I told you. I'm kidding. I don't, I literally just sleep. Oh, I read. Here, check this out. I have a bedside reading problem. I'm going to run you through the books I'm reading right now, okay? This one, I'm, I'm not very far. I'm the star of the show, okay? You're not? Okay, fine. Do you want to run them through what books I read then? Go. Run them through. That's right. You don't speak English. Or do you? I don't know, because right now you're being a little weird. I love him so much. I did start the Holy Bible. I grew up Christian. I kind of fell out of it, and I'm going back into it. Now, I will admit, I pretty much just read <laughs> the table of contents. I actually didn't read the table of contents. I read through like what all the books were exactly to make sure if I'm going to read the Bible again, I'm going to do it from start to finish. I'm going to do it. I have Million Dollar Habits. I read like uh, I'm almost done with that book. Best book in the world. It's a book about YouTube by Daryl Leaves. If you dream of being a YouTuber, you must read that. Oh, no, no, no. I don't fucking know where I got that. I think my mom read this and gave it to me, to be honest. I haven't started reading that yet. This drawer does this all day long. I'd say I'd be hard pressed to think of a morning where I woke up and that wasn't out. I need to lift it up, but I don't because I'm busy and I'm lazy. I'm not lazy, I'm lying, but I'm definitely busy. Humidifier that I don't use. I used when I got here, my lungs just, mm, they adapted, I'm all good. Room needs to be cold as shit. I sleep in 65 here, only because I'm trying to save money. If I could, I'd sleep in 50. Decor, I think my, my hair, I think I'm losing hair. I think I'm balding. A lot of my hair falls out or I have too much of it. And it's just, I charge my batteries. No one really uses this. If any, anyone wants to come help me use this, please DM me or something. I don't know. The dirtiest part of the house. I did clean my shower, but I have yet to clean this. And I just realized recently that I can't see into my shower. So that's pretty dirty. This is my office, my den that I don't use at all. I've got like a car corner here for my automotive channel, which is my main channel is going automotive anyway. That's this one. And then I've got this corner of like, I don't know why that's up. I don't know, man. I've got goals there. Don't look at the goals. Okay. They're my goals, not yours. Piano that I forgot to put. Keelan, stop it. There's, there's stuff there. Okay. I've got a keyboard here that I, I used to play. Oh, sh learn it again because I think this will help me get a girlfriend or a wife or something. This is my balcony that my dog poops on. I don't mean he poops on the balcony. I mean I have like a, a pee pad down but I'm not going to show you that because you can see where I live and then you're going to come try to fist fight me and I'm going to have to fight you. You know what I mean? For those who don't know, me and my ex-girlfriend moved into this home. Some sh** went sideways and I ended up being the sole uh, owner of this home. Not really. And there's something else we're going to get into again because we're all about transparency today. I've never said this before. Maybe it's public. I don't know. But when we moved in, when this house was empty, it wasn't empty. It was like kind of half furnished. It was beautiful. We were like, there's no, like this is it. This is the house. I don't like this wallpaper, but I do. I wish it was black or like the other room, the guest room. I wish it was like some three quarter black design. I don't know. <sighs> This is a three-story home, town home, whatever you want to call it. Our living room kitchen is upstairs. This is probably my favorite part of the entire house, hence why I spend 99% of my time up here. 
we're gonna show them my new addition to the home. This is my most exciting part of the home. Shout out Katie, my brother's girlfriend. She got me this little dry bar. I don't drink, really. I don't, actually, right now I don't drink at all. I feel like as a man, I need a dry, a proper dry or wet bar, whatever you call it. I don't know why, is there wet? Is it dry if there's no alcohol, wet if there's alcohol? I don't know. This is the part of the house that's always gonna stay this way. I left a lot of uh, feminine objects in here. And I don't mean like feminine upkeep objects. I mean like there's a lot of pink and stuff in here, but honestly, I'm a man, so I just don't care, leave it. You know what I mean? This used to be a ping pong table because <laughs> When things hit the fan, our old couch, I parted with to my ex. I wasn't focused on getting a couch. I was focused on getting my brain together. So I put a ping pong table here and it was terrible and it felt like I lived in a library. So I went out, I bought a couch and then I purchased this rug. There's a good story with the rug that I'm gonna tell you. I wanted a black fuzzy rug for a while. There's a name for it. It's been a while since I rug shopped. I don't know what it's called. You can let me know down below. I bought one in stores and it was too small. Ordered another one and I believe it was too small. Then I ordered this one, came in a box this big. And I literally had a panic attack. I was like, there's no way, there's no way. Cause we were joking that it was gonna come and not be the right size. Turns out it's like one of those mattresses and it expanded and it actually works perfect. And I can actually wash this rug. TV, I mean, I don't know, a TV stand that no TV stands on. I know there's a Christmas tree in my living room. Just don't ask about the Christmas tree, okay? It's only February. This is the island. We're gonna call it a waterfall. Island, because if you were water, you would fall. I spent literally all my time in here. I work there, I cook here, I make coffee there, and I eat at. This is like the modern mid-century, <laughs> mid-century, like the minimalistic modern look that I love. Definitely took me a little while to like homey it up. And I did, I feel like. This is where I make my, uh, my cocaine, AKA my coffee. Now, I only say cocaine, not to be insensitive. I say cocaine because right here in this little bin, is my cocaine powder. And it's not actually cocaine powder, but it's some magical thing that makes my latte so good that I'm addicted to, so it might as well be. With coffee, I literally can't even. I can, actually. What, that's exactly what I, I, before I make coffee, I can't. But then I make it and I can, so I don't know what that means. This is my Lelite Bianca. L-E-L-I-T, it's an Italian espresso machine manufacturer. Everybody asks me about this because I always go live and make coffee. This is my biggest investment as far as something that I don't need. And it's the thing I've made my money back on the quickest. That's gonna be for a Starbucks video I'm doing, so don't think I use those, those are gross. I got my bananas because potassium, baby. Only thing I wanna show you guys in my fridge, all the energy drinks in here that I have. I just keep showing up on my doorstep and I don't even drink them. Go, come on, we'll show them the balcony. The balcony here is massive. I will show you this balcony because it is one of the selling points I moved here. I don't use it that much. I have a hammock that I use. I'm a big view vibe guy. I just wanna be happy and that's the stuff that makes me feel good. I'm I'm gonna go into specifics here just because, again, like I watch a lot of real estate stuff, especially on TikTok, and it's like, I enjoy seeing people's homes and knowing how many bedrooms it is, how much square feet it is, what it costs a month, and what area, it just intrigues me. So I am gonna say this, and I'm not saying this to say how much money this is. It's gonna sound worse because I'm explaining the situation, and it's a weird situation, but it's funny, and I'm gonna say it anyway. Now I'm gonna preface this before I say this. There's a couple of things I'm gonna preface here, and I have prefaced in this video. I like prefacing, okay, I'm a preface guy. This is a three Three bedroom, two bath, three story home, two car garage. Technically disconnected. Like I don't feel like I have neighbors here at all. Like I've never heard a neighbor in my life. 2200 square, it could even be 2400 square foot. I think it's 2200, that's big. Especially for like one person, two people, plenty. In the world of townhomes, apartments, like that's big. I'm not saying it's big in general, I'm saying it's big in this realm. So when we were looking at places here, I'm prefacing this because this place is quite expensive. I found some snacks. When we were looking in the area, we were looking all around Scottsdale. Scottsdale, Arizona to rent is nuts. Renting here is like renting in Los Angeles. Buying here is like buying in Temecula, where I'm from. Like it's not cheap and it's definitely an appreciating market, but it's more of a bargain than 90% of California to buy here. Renting here sucks. So we're looking around, we're looking at apartments. We even looked at a home, like a renovated home in Phoenix. And I'm gonna tell you what we pay for this place. So this place is $5,900 a month. I know some of you guys are like, $5,900, $6,000 a month. That's a mortgage on like a one point, probably what, $4 million home. I get that. A, I can't get approved for a $1.4 million home or else I'd own a $1.4 million home. I mean, I, maybe I could, I don't know, I don't think so, but I haven't bought one yet. B, this is a ton of home for what we pay. And I know it's a ton of money, but with me and my ex split for certain reasons that I'm not gonna get into, she committed this place with me, so she still pays her rent here. I know it sounds up, just know, 
it's not. What I'm gonna say though is I don't pay that much money. I mean, I pay a lot of money in general for me. When it was just me living here, I was definitely paying a lot of money. Now that I have a roommate, it makes it a little easier. And maybe in the future, if we end up staying here, we'll get another roommate. But at the time we were looking, $5,900 a month for a 2,200 square foot, three story, three bedroom townhome really isn't much. The amount of homes I could pull up right now on Zillow that are asking over $10,000 a month, sub 2,000 square foot for like one story, whatever homes would blow your mind. Also at the time when we moved here, splitting it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't much different than the rent we were paying before. It just seemed like more when I told people that because everyone assumed I paid for it. I would never live in this place just by myself paying $5,900 a month. No, no. So for everything, location, the style of the house, like I said, modern, minimalist, and just the attachment we had to it when we found it, like it was the perfect fit. And now that I've been living here a year and gone through everything I have in this house, I'm even more like at home here. And so my lease is coming up soon. I don't know if I'm gonna leave. I hope to stay, but I wanted to do a house tour. I got asked a lot to do a house tour and I really like the house and I feel like it's come together and it just felt finished for the past couple months. I'm gonna end it on this. We have one amenity here, <laughs> one. And it's a pool, but not a pool. It's a really big hot tub and a really small pool. So in the summer, it's a joke. And in the winter, it's impressive. People come over the winter, they're like, what is that? Like, it's a hot tub. They're like, that's a big hot tub. I'm like, I know. And so as the seasons go, my, my one amenity gets better and worse. And I think I'm gonna throw a party there in the summer of a lot of people in the really small space. I think it's gonna be really funny.